impression with the performance of tonight's game? Yeah, thank you. I think uh, things were worked according to our plan, though we nearly flat it in the first half. What we told the boys, in the first 20, 30 minutes, it's going to be tough because they'll throw the game at us, and which is what has happened. That's why I say our defense stood very well at the back, and the goalkeeper did very well. I think uh, that's what happened. The last 10 minutes of the first half, you could see fatigue was taking its toll on, on the Sudan team because they came double uh, their effort for the first 30, 35 minutes and they couldn't get a goal. And fortunately, we realized that we need ball players in the team. That is why we made those changes. If you look at all the goals they scored, it was behind their defense because we were able to eliminate them from the middle of the park. When we went to them, we were, most of the times, we were on a numerical superiority when we attacked them. If we are scoring goals, we should have scored those two, six, seven goals. But with the three, we're happy. Maybe the other four, we're saving it for the next coming game, which we don't know who is that we're going to play against. What do you think this that will do to our campaign? I think I've been saying uh, we need to win this game, put wheels on our, uh, under our feet. I mean, this is a good thing for, for us to have happened. Going to the Nigeria game, the boys will be confident because some of them, they never thought they'll win. I mean, if you look at a good player like Kigen, he was, was scared, you know, he, was, he never knew what was happening. We didn't give so, away. How does it fit in a game away from you? Well, uh, uh, people will say I'm trying to post. I prefer playing away than home. Yeah? Yeah. It, playing at home, it's no more luxury. It's no more luxury. The players are under pressure and there's a lot of things happening. I mean, if you look at the crowd yet, yeah. even if the score was 3-0, they were still cheering their team. Yeah. And we look at the stands, we're fully packed, which is what we need to start doing at home. Yeah, but speaking about that crowd, that crowd, uh, coach, uh, intimidating, how do you uh, deal with that uh, in terms of get, making sure that the players don't even focus on that? No, we, 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 we talk to the players. Fortunately, it works for us. There's no magic. It's only that they responded very well. What we say to them, play good ball, you, good, 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 good football. You'll see the crowd will change. And if you look at when we were killing them one-on-one -on -one situation, the crowd was cheering our boys, which is uh, that is what we need. By their and, and the contribution okay. made by the new guys uh, that you brought in? Pardon? The contribution made uh, by the, uh, especially the guys that uh, in the first kids? Well, uh, they deserve it, I would say. This was the time that they were waiting for. They did very well. I don't want to mention players by names. The goalkeeper up to the last player, they did very well. I mean, to, to, to contain a team like this one. They were, That's coming they said we are they were scoring goals, they would have scored the at least two, three goals in the first half. Okay, so thanks a lot, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.